Hi there, I'm Ms. Val here at the Bemis Public Library and we're ready for another story time. Today's book is called Mrs. Honey's Hat and this was written and illustrated by Pam Adams and the book was published by Child's Play International. Well here's Mrs. Honey and she is very busy every single day of the week. Day of the week? Days of the week? That reminds me of a song. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 All right, shall we read the book? Well, here's Mrs. Honey, and the book is called Mrs. Honey's Hat, so I should show you her hat. She has all kinds of beautiful things on her hat. There's a lovely pink bow, some flowers and feathers, a bit of lace, a seashell, and some fruit. Mrs. Honey really loves her hat. Well, on Monday, she wore it when she took her grandson Peter to the park and she bought him some bubble gum and then Mrs. Honey sat on the bench with her knitting. Her grandson was chewing and chewing and chewing the bubble gum and he also was playing with his archery set. Peter thought, oh, those feathers would make my arrows fly better. So he pulled the feathers off her hat. Whoop. But what could he leave in its place? Hmm. He thought, and he thought, and the only thing he had was bubble gum, and he left that right on his grandma's hat. But you know what? Mrs. Honey didn't notice. On Tuesday, Mrs. Honey wore her hat to visit a friend. They sat in the garden under the shade of a tree and they ate cakes and cookies and drank tea. Yum, yum. Well, there were some little birds nearby and a bird flew down to pick up some crumbs. Tweet, 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 tweet. And the little bird saw the cherries on Mrs. Honey's hat. Oh, those cherries sure look good, the bird chirped. So she flew off with the cherries and left some eggs behind. But Mrs. Honey was having such a nice time with her friend that Mrs. Honey didn't notice. On Wednesday, Mrs. Honey spent the day at the seaside. The sun was shining and the water was just right for wading and paddling, and Mrs. Honey felt very happy. So as Mrs. Honey was sitting in the sun, a hermit crab came scuttling along. Oh, that shell would make a nice new home for myself. So he scuttled away with that seashell and brought her back some stinky seaweed. But Mrs. Honey was having a nap and Mrs. Honey didn't notice. All right, what day comes after Wednesday? Thursday. On Thursday, Mrs. Honey went to her yard and she was picking some dandelions to make some salad. It was very hard work, so she took her hat off and hung it on the fence. Well, along came a cow who saw the hat on the fence and the cow mooed Oh, what beautiful big buttercups on that hat. Moo, moo, moo. And 
and she took the flowers from the hat and ran back to her field, but she brought her cowbell, put that on Mrs. Honey's hat instead. But Mrs. Honey was so hard at work, Mrs. Honey didn't notice. Okay, Thursday's over and now it's Friday and Mrs. Honey went to visit an old, old castle. Oh, just look at those cobwebs around this place. This place certainly could do with a good cleaning. Well, where there are cobwebs, there are spiders. And a big black spider dropped down on Mrs. Honey's hat. Hooray, he said. This mace right over here will make a good, strong cobweb. So he hurried away with the lace and he brought back his old cobwebs and left those behind. But Mrs. Honey didn't notice. She was having such a good time looking around the castle. Well, on Saturday, Mrs. Honey went to a neighborhood cat show and she took her kitty to the show and there were all sorts of cats there, but she really hoped her cat would win first prize. Well, an alley cat came in from outside and he noticed Mrs. Honey's hat and the kitty cat said, wow, 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 that pink ribbon must might help me win first prize. So he pulled the pink ribbon from her hat doesn't he look nice? And he left some stinky old fish bones in its place. Hooey! But guess what? Mrs. Honey didn't notice. Well, on Sunday, Mrs. Honey went to church and everyone seemed to be staring at her. Oh, I wonder whatever could it be, thought Mrs. Honey. Perhaps it's time I bought a new hat. Well, as soon as church was finished, Mrs. Honey hurried home and looked in the mirror. Ah! She noticed the bubble gum, the eggs, the seaweed, the bell, the cobwebs, and the fish bones. Oh, goodness me, thought Mrs. Honey. I guess I've already got a new hat. But she wasn't sure she liked it. Hmm, the end. Maybe Mrs. Honey needs to redecorate her hat or just get a new one altogether. Well, thanks so much for tuning in for Bemis Public Library's story time in the Bemis Kids Corner. We hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.